So today I'm going to be showing you all how to tie wild racks. Um, so I recently learned, and I learned by watching YouTube videos just like this. So people, I feel like I really needed to make one because people didn't explain certain parts of it the best. Like I would get confused at certain parts where they said it the correct way, but it was kind of confusing. So those that are just learning, this is an easier um, explained way to do it rather than, you know, all the times. So you're gonna kind of just take um, it in a square and you're gonna kind of put the angles of the triangle. Grab the other end. So I got a triangle. It's really long. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of just grab down a little bit longer because people try to grab here and they gotta shift all their hands around. So kind of grab about right there. Bring it around. So what you're gonna do is you're not going to tie a knot. You're just gonna bring it around like that because people um, get into trouble when they try to do a knot. And then they have to go back and fix it all. So this is the part I kind of got confused at was nobody explained how to do this part. So whenever you get it on, you really kind of just shift it around. You can use these two to make it tighter to your neck or looser to your neck. Um, personally, I kind of like it a little bit tighter. It keeps me a little bit warmer. But you can, you know, move all this around to your exact preference. So let me show you that one more time. Grab it around the back. Do not tie a knot. Just switch the ends and shift this around uh, to how you want it. I'm doing this the girl's way, and I'll be having a new video coming out in about um, 30 minutes about how to do it the guy's way. So you're going to take the end, and so I'm going to do the breath of the room knot. Um, I'll be doing the square knot maybe tomorrow or maybe later today. So you're going to kind of, it's like you're doing this with your pointer finger and your pinky. Kind of shift it sideways. And what you're going to do is I'm going to kind of drop this, but you're still going to need that. You're going to take your left side. You're going to be doing this in your left hand. You're going to wrap it around once. And then with your pinky, you're going to kind of hold it. And I like to keep this a little bit looser because I was like, how am I going to get this in here? So I didn't explain this. And so I kind of like it a little bit looser, just so I can get it through there, and I can kind of tighten it back up if I need to. But once you get the hang of it, you can kind of keep it loose, but still keep the um, tightness that you need for the knot. So I'm kind of just going to take this through, and I'm going to just pull it through, all the way through. And then I still got my finger, still got my finger in the top, my pinky hole in the bottom. I'm going to kind of bring it around. See how it's sitting in my arm? And then I'm going to kind of just bring it around like this. Now this is a part that was confusing. They didn't explain what I do with this very good. They just said it goes under, it goes over, and then you do like wrap it through the hole. Makes no sense, right? So what you're going to kind of do is you're going to kind of grab it like this. Like that. And kind of just going to twist it. That way you have a good thing to do with your point. Now you got your pointer out. I kind of like to clamp it open with two fingers. That way you can really get it through there. This one's down. You're going to kind of pull this one through. And then that's when you can kind of shift it with your knot. And you can make this a little bit longer. That way you can you know, bring this through here if you need to. But you can keep it tucked under also. Bucker or not, you kind of just have to shift it. Um, anyway, tighten it. Make it. Maybe make it a little looser on one side to make them even. You kind of play around with how loose you want it or how tight you want it. If you want to make this your buckaroo knot, your little ends go down farther. Kind of just shift it back and forth. And you'll make this tighter to your neck like that. But say you want it tighter to your neck, the ends, you're going to kind of just shift the bottom down like that. And you've got different ways. You can put it right here. You can put it anywhere you want. Um, I prefer to like it on my neck sometimes whenever I'm just wearing it out. Or if I'm like riding my horses, I like to um, put this around my nose. That way I can, um, you know, keep my nose warm and my neck warm. It really helps. And that's how you do the girls' Brucker Room Knot. 